You can see see the haze of dust there. You can see the 635. I mean, when Derek gets back, when he's cutting, I mean, it's just solid, just dust, just flying every freaking where. The other morning when I filmed, when I showed it was raining in my house, it was Tuesday morning. By the time I backed out of my carport, basically all it did was wet the concrete, and that was it. By the time I backed out of my car, my carport, it had quit raining. We just moved on this set yesterday, started hauling out of it. This is good rock and everything, but you can see there's no moisture in it. So what this stuff does is it'll just spin right out from underneath the truck. So we're having to be really careful because that's going up a hill right there uh, with the truck. And uh, man, you can tear up a rear end quick. But I got to clean my windows, man. Oh my God. This sun, this sun right here, that coming up through the trees right there. I can't, when I sit right here, I can't even see. See that? I can't even see the pile. I'm gonna clean my windows right quick. I still hadn't swapped the hose on my loader from the one that was made wrong, which that hose is made wrong. I can use it on the other side of the pump. It'll fit that side, so it's not a it's not a loss. It's not a complete loss. So I'm gonna climb up here and uh, clean my windows right quick. I'll be right back. I told Jill this morning that uh, I was going to freaking die from dust inhalation. I mean, it's the 17th of November, for God's sakes. And uh, we just, I have never seen it. Well, I sure hope I'll pass on. I have never seen it this dry. I mean, we normally, I mean, it's been dry, but not this dry. I mean, we've gotten some rain, you know, along the way. You know, a little light rains here and there, but I mean, the ground's still been dry, but it's been enough to keep, keep some moisture in the ground and all that. But I'd hate to be in the dirt business right now. Good God, I mean, when it gets like this and the ground, the dirt has no moisture, you can't do anything with it hardly. I mean, I feel bad for those guys trying to, trying to work uh, in the dirt. bad thing about a loader with a high-rise cab. See, I'm standing on the step down here in front of the cab. That's as high as I can get. I'd climb up on this boom to get the top of the windshield up there, man. Can't reach it. Nothing. Grab a hold and hang on, man. Get out there where you can get to the deck of the thing. See all that? You can't even see that skitter. Just a, look at it blowing through the, through, through the processor right there. It's like that all freaking day long. See that glass? Look at that. Look at that. Give it an hour and it'll beat you back just like that. See, look. T. Three. Look at there. <laughs> ah, dog, man. So here's a before. See how, how bad that window, you can't even tell that's a window. And there's an after right there, that's top. I don't use that window down there, I'm not gonna clean it now. But I do use this and dang it. Look at the, the boom. You can't even tell what color it is. Hey. Somebody asked me, people ask me all the time, they ask me, hey man, what are you doing? Somebody asked me, I can't forget, I forget who it was, man, I asked me, uh, yesterday? I asked me, yeah, last night, I said, what are you doing? I said, I'm digging a big booger out of my nose, is what I'm doing, a big one. They said, well, was it slimy? I said, no, it's like a rock. The ones that are even better than the boogers are the ones that asked me after I done got home, you know, sitting on the throne asking what I'm doing, and they get that answer. I usually don't hear from them for like two or three weeks. But I mean, they ask, I'm not gonna lie. If somebody asks me what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell them what I'm doing, you know? So, you don't wanna know, don't ask. Yeah, it got me another truck here, so I hope y'all like that little bit of shenanigans there. 
like the title how y'all like the title of this video here pretty good huh um just uh you hate seeing see looking through that see i can't see kevin hardly right there with that way that sun is right now you can see him he's sitting right there and so i have to he has to really watch out for me when i'm loading because i'm fixing to throw all this wood here on this truck here sitting behind me but uh <laughs> hey i'm in the spotlight man Let's see somebody's email in here man tons and tons and tons of messages a lot of y'all come in ask me questions on my on my videos and stuff like that it's gotten worse impossible i can't respond back to everybody if i did I, that's all i would do all day long would just be sitting here so i just kind of pick and choose but i appreciate the comments and stuff like that and everything and and there's some there's certain questions that people ask me it on in a public area that there's just there's no way I'm gonna answer them publicly and uh, and then there's some things that are asked that are just you know I'm not gonna answer publicly privately or anything it's just how it is but um hope y'all have a uh, good day today's Thursday uh, the week of testosterone gun season opens Saturday morning for deer deer season whitetail deer here in Mississippi and Alabama boat uh, get ready I call this the week of testosterone I like to blast whitetails I hate whitetail deer the reason why I hate them is because they tear up so much stuff we have so many freaking deer here it's unreal uh, and we run our season runs from Saturday all the way to the end of January Alabama's runs to the middle of February and you can kill a lot of deer. Uh, I usually kill about 20 or more a year every year and I can do that legally too by the way and uh, I've got some deer videos from years ago that I'm gonna be publishing that are pretty cool and then I'm gonna be filming I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a camera with me every time I go I'm gonna try some stuff on my cameras and I'm gonna try to get some kills on film and stuff like that so if you don't like seeing Bambi get blasted, you may want to find you somebody else to watch for a little while. If you like to see Bambi get blasted, enjoy is all I can say. What do I do with all the deer that I kill? No, I cannot eat 20 deer a year. Uh, I have several families that uh, end up getting a deer. I usually keep about two out of the 20. That's what I keep. But... Uh, I mean, the deer around here, they tear up so many vehicles. Like I said in my, one of my truck videos, I hit four in my last truck, four deer in my last truck. When I had cows, I could not keep a fence up for nothing. I mean, just uh, just uh, nothing. I mean, they, they would destroy my fences. You know, it was a weekly thing having to fix fences. So y'all get ready for some uh, deer hunting videos. Those coming out and everything which most of my people are gonna like them and, and all that anyhow yeah, because that's just how y'all roll and everything but uh subscribe to me man subscribe to me let's keep those numbers the subscriber numbers going up and uh y'all be good later taters